What's cooking everybody? It's Dor and in this video I'll be showing you how to create your own sentinel army in No Man's Sky. All kidding aside though, this is a full walkthrough of the Trace of Metal side quest which will unlock your own personal sentinel drone and also all the hard frame parts in order to fully upgrade your minor door. And so without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So let me start by saying that you will need to run your own settlement in order to be able to start the A Trace of Metal side mission, which will unlock the central droid for you, and of course the hardframe exomac. Now if you don't have a settlement, yes, I would suggest to check out this video, which I'll also link in the description down below, as it will teach you on how to unlock your own settlement. Now if you do already have a settlement, make sure to get into your starship, fly into outer space, open up the galaxy map, and warp into a system. Once you have, you should be receiving a message, so make sure to open up your Starship Communicator. This is a message from somebody on your settlement, so make sure to acknowledge the broadcast. The Trace of Metal side quest has now been started. Make sure to head up towards the space station and use the teleporter to warp back into your settlement. You notice that your settlement is under attack and the sentinels do differ from the ones that normally attack your base. Of course, make sure to destroy them all. And also make sure to collect everything they drop. So once you have defeated the sentinels and collected everything, you'll see that an anomalous broadcast has reached your settlement. So make sure to walk up to the settlement administration terminal and interact with it. Choose to receive the anomalous broadcast. Now if you haven't collected everything the sentinels dropped, you will get the message to search your settlement until you find the undamaged drone shell. And after doing so, you will be tasked with going to the anomaly. So make sure to once again enter your starship and take off. Summon the anomaly in outer space and enter it. Walk up to Iteration Tethys and interact with him. Now you will be tasked with speaking to other traveler iterations aboard the anomaly. So make sure to walk up to Specialist Polo and choose to explain the drone. You will receive some beads of glass. Make your way to Iteration Mercury. You will receive a portal pilacotry. And finally, make your way up to Iteration Ariadne. Unfortunately, Iteration Ariadne won't feel so well today and she will not give you anything. So walk up to Iteration Gemini instead and you'll receive some nanite filaments in return. Make your way back up to Iteration Tethys and interact with them. Choose to hand over the components. And just like that you'll receive the Sentinel Flare. A specialist device created by Iteration Tethys. Its primary function is to heal your reconstructed Sentinel drone. You'll see Teleporter on the Anomaly to head back towards your settlement. Once you're there, make sure to open up your inventory and then hover above the sentinel flare. Select to activate the flare. And just like that you'll have your own sentinel pet. Make sure to interact with it and you can select to purge the memory, defragment the file system or to flush the cache, which all will do the same thing. Select to download the coordinates. Make your way towards the coordinates on your HUD. Land your starship at the location. Get out of it and open up the target sweep function on your analysis visor to head into the right direction. Make sure to check back regularly to see if you're still going into the right direction. And once you're close by, the signal should be finalizing. It will bring you to our sentinel pillar. Make sure to approach the terminal and interact with it. The terminal will be in lockdown. You will have to destroy three nodes. So just shoot the pillar nodes until all three of them are destroyed and then you'll have to destroy the sentinels guarding the pillar. While I'm doing so, I want to ask you to please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video, let me know in the comments down below what you did most and please subscribe to see more No Man's Sky content in the future. So once you have destroyed the sentinels, make sure to walk back up to the terminal and interact with it. Select to stop the exosuit download and then confirm download. You will now have unlocked the sentinel hard frame right arm. So interact with your drone again. You will be tasked with installing the Sentinel hardframe right arm. Make sure to place down or summon your minor door. Hover above an empty slot and install the Sentinel hardframe right arm. This will require 40 Pugnium, 30 ionized cobalt and 2 hydraulic wiring. So after you've installed the right arm, make sure to interact with your drone again. You will now be tasked with returning to your settlement. Do so. Once you're at your settlement, make sure to head back to the Overseer office and to interact with the Settlement Administration Terminal. Select to answer citizen questions about the Sentry. They will be sent off on their expedition. Make sure to follow your Sentinel drone and interact with them. 
and choose to accept the coordinate data. The coordinates will send you to a different system, so make sure to get into your starship and fly into space. Open up your galaxy map and follow the route of the current mission. And of course the warp there. Find the sentry's coordinates on your HUD and fly there. Once again, make sure to land at the approximate location. Get out of your starship and use the target sweep function on the analysis visor to help in on the exact location and to go there. Enter the manufacturing facility by shooting the door and interact with the terminal inside. Choose to confirm download on the hard frame blueprints. The central hard frame left arm will now be unlocked. Interact with the sentry and you will now be tasked with installing the left arm onto your minotaur. To open up its inventory and select to install the left arm. This will cost you 40 potnium, 50 chromatic metal and one hydraulic wiring. After installing the left arm on your monitor, it's once again time to head back towards your settlement. Once again, head into the overseer's office and interact with the settlement administration terminal. Choose to debrief the Sentinel expedition. You can either thank the explorers or question the explorers. Either way, you will receive the Sentinel hard frame leg plans. Now you'll have to install the legs onto your Sentinel. So once again, choose an empty slot and select the Sentinel hard frame legs. This will cost you 120 Pugnium and one hard frame engine. These are dropped by Sentinel forces you destroy. You should probably already have a couple of them by now. Now for the final piece. Interact with your drone and then select to accept directions to the walkers. And of course to accept the blueprints. This will unlock the blueprint for the paralysis mortar. Which is a blueprint you'll need to install onto your multi-tool. Installing it will require two drivers and jelly, one wiring loom, and two hermetic seals. You now have to retrieve a pristine brain from a sentinel walker. Your droid will have one marked in your hut, so make sure to return towards your starship and go towards the location. Land at the approximate location, and once again use the target sweep function on your analysis visor to home in on the exact location. You have to defeat the sentinel walker in order to retrieve its brain. And of course you can use the paralysis mortar to make it a little bit easier for yourself. Make sure to also destroy the remaining sentinels. And when you have, make sure to collect the walker brain. You will receive one pristine brain. Head back to your starship, take off, fly into outer space and summon the anomaly. Make your way up to Iteration Titis and interact with him. Then choose to reveal the pristine brain and the sentinel hard frame body should now be unlocked. Return towards your ship and fly out of the anomaly. When in space, make sure to pulse and you'll see that the hack brain is looking for a disconnection. Once you have an anomaly detected, exit the pulse. You'll find that the messenger of Atlas appeared before you. Open up your starship communicator in order to communicate with it. Select percent the hack brain. Once you've done so, you will receive the radiant brain. Now you will be tasked with installing the sentinel hard frame body. Make sure to summon your exocraft and of course choose an empty slot to install the sentinel hard frame body onto. This will require one antimatter, one life support gel, and of course the radiant brain we have just unlocked. Once the sentinel hard frame body is installed, this will also act as an artificial pilot plugin, so you can choose to dismantle the Minotaur AI pilot if you'd like. And after doing so, your Minotaur will have its new appearance, which looks a lot like this. Make sure to walk up to your drone and interact with him. You will now receive navigational data to free your sentry from the sentinel hive mind. So get into your starship and fly up to the destination. Use the target sweep function on the analysis visor to home in on the exact location and make sure to go there. It is yet another sentinel pillar. Destroy all the pillar control nodes and all the sentinels guarding it. And once you have, make sure to walk up to the terminal and then select perform network servants. The sentry's wish has now been granted, so make sure to once again interact with him. Stop running away. And this will conclude the A Trace of Metal side quest in No Man's Sky. All in all, it's a pretty straightforward and easy side quest, but it was much fun and of course the rewards are quite awesome. The drone that follows you around can be summoned next to any companion as well, so that's nice. And of course the same goes for the Minotaur and its newly upgraded design. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that you are able to recolor any of the new parts, so that's a shame. Hopefully they will once update this. But that was all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one.